y'all, I'm Melissa from Melly Sews. And I'm Beth from Sew DIY. And Beth is in Austin right now visiting. You're here for ACL Fest. Yes, yeah. And so when I decided I was going to come to Austin, I called Melly up. Actually, I DM'd her on Instagram <laughs> and said, do you want to get together? And I said, sure, and we should do a YouTube collaboration. So we decided to do quick sewing gifts. Gift like, yeah. for you. Happy holidays. Yeah, happy <laughs> ACL Fest. Yes. Okay, you go first. Okay. You go first and then I'll open. I used to like really rip into gifts when I was a little <laughs> kid. And <laughs> I would always want to like open other people's gifts. Because <laughs> I love it so much. Like my older <laughs> and it's all upcycled denim too. Yes? Sewing machine fabric. <laughs> <laughs> I was just admiring this fabric upstairs. <laughs> Coincidentally, we both decided to do some cute little zipper pouches. These are adorable. Beth made these for me. And M Melissa made this one for me. And we're gonna show you in tutorials how to do these different variations on the same idea. Let's make the pattern. Start by cutting out an 11 inch tall by 12 inch wide square. I'm gonna do this directly on my fabric. If you're more comfortable, you can do this on paper first. Then move down to the bottom corners here, and we want to do a one and a half inch cutout marked on each corner. So one and a half inches from each side. Go ahead and mark that out, and do that on the other side as well. And I have a link to this ruler if you're interested below, if you want the same one. Okay, then we are going to go from this corner that we just marked out up to the top edge, and we want to take off an inch on the top edge and then taper that down to nothing by the corner. So go ahead and draw that line and repeat that on the other side. And then let's just cut on our lines. There we go, this is what the pattern for the bag is going to look like. Let's talk about all the supplies next. You're going to want two outer fabrics and you're going to want two of the inner fabric pattern piece cut out. You need a 12 inch zipper and you're going to need a 16 inch by two inch wide piece of fabric for the wrist strap. So let's start with the wrist strap. What you're going to want to do is take your iron and press it in half like this and then you want to open it up and press the two raw edges in towards that crease. So you've got it like this and then you want to fold it in half again and we're going to top stitch this close to make the wrist strap. So taking this over to the machine, I'm going to put this in. I'm going to lengthen my stitch to 3.5 millimeters for the top stitching and just send it through. At the end, for me, it's usually easier to just stitch across and then top stitch down the other side. And then here is my wrist strap ready to go. I'm going to set that aside and then what I need to do is I need to place the zipper into in between these fabrics. I'm not going to show that on camera here because I have a whole other video that shows how to make a basic zipper pouch and it's the same process to do the, the um, zipper so I'll just direct you to that if you don't know how to sandwich the zipper into the top edges. Once we get to this stage where we've sandwiched the zipper in between the outer and lining layers of fabric, then we're ready to deal with these corners. So what you're going to want to do, and this is going to be repeated for every corner, is fold it in half so that the corners match up right sides together, and then we're going to stitch right across there. Using a half inch seam here, and back stitch, and then cut. And so what I've done is I've created that boxed corner. I'm going to want to then cut into the fabric to my stitching line on that diagonal fold so that I can open this 
flat. So repeat that on every corner all the way around the bag. Once you have all the corners boxed off, this is what your bag's going to look like. And now it's a matter of matching things up and sewing around those side seams. Before you do that, you want to unzip your zipper at least halfway. And then we're going to go down to those bottom corner edges, open them out flat and match them up. When we get to the side seams here, it's very important for the zipper teeth to be folded to point towards the lining. This will help you have nicer corners later when we turn this right side out. And then just pin in between. Oh, we almost forgot the wrist strap. Let's put that in before we go any further. So for the wrist strap, you're going to want to fold it like this, okay, so that you put two edges next to each other and then about maybe a half inch or fingers width down from the zipper is where you want this to be and just stick a couple of temporary pins in there to hold it in place until you're pinning that side seam. On the bottom of the lining piece here, we're going to want to leave a gap of about two to three inches in the center of the bottom. And now all we need to do is start on one edge of that lining gap, stitch all the way around to the other side of the gap. I'm going to start by back stitching and then just continue around. When you get to the zipper area, be very careful, especially if you have a zipper with metal teeth. You may want to hand crank your machine through this area. And I will end with a back stitch here. Next step after you've done that is to go ahead and turn your zipper pouch right side out. Now to finish this hole in the lining, you can either push those seam allowances in towards each other and run it under the machine, just top stitch those two edges together, or you can fold those ends in and then use a hand sewing needle and a blind ladder stitch to finish off that seam. Now I'm not going to show you the blind ladder stitch because I've got a whole other video on how to do that. So this one I'm going to do the quickie finish and I'm just going to stick it in my machine. But there is a link below if you would prefer that invisible blind ladder finish. got my bottom edge finished and now I can push that into the bag and I'm basically done. Just make sure you get your finger in there real good to push those corners out. And same thing at the zipper corners. You really want to get your finger in there to turn that out. And then here is my finished pouch. Now if you would like a little more body in this, you can always interface the pieces that you are using and that would give it more ability to stand up. I prefer to keep mine lightweight and keep them easy to sew without adding in the interfacing. Here's another variation I did. For this one, I actually pieced together old pieces of jeans and I even use like a pocket from one of my son's pair of old jeans. So you can definitely just top stitch a pocket onto the outside before you continue sewing on the zipper and the other things. This would be done as a first step. And then this one has sewing machine fabric in the lining. All right, y'all, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial for the zipper pouch that I made. And remember to head over to Beth's channel to see how to make this variation. I've got the link below and I also have it on the end screen that is coming up.